Welcome back to my videos about OpenShift servlets, Tomcat, and the web interface. As you can see, we have now in our catalog JBoss, but we don't have the old JBoss, which was only JBoss. We have JBoss with Apache Tomcat, MySQL, and HTTPS. So we have a bundle which we can use. Today I would like to show you how to use this bundle because this is a little bit different than the previous one. It is a little bit complicated. Uh, it has some positive and for me negative sides. If you want to use the old Tomcat you can just watch my old videos and in place of the previous Tomcat use Wipe, Fly and MySQL and everything will work without problems with this. So now we will uh, use uh, this bundle here. Of course when you want to use uh, Postgres or, or another database it will be similar. So uh, let's create first project. Say Tom test. Okay, the project is created, and okay, now you need to be careful because it can be a little bit complicated. So we start it. What do we have inside of it? First of all, you can see that you can set the root to, to host name and so on and so on. So it looks like as you can be able to, 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 to add your own host name. Uh, this is true, but if you have the paid uh, account with the free account, don't try to put here anything. It will not work. You, you will be not able to to uh, to start the application. <clears throat> so the next one I will use for this part, this is the first part of I think three parts, I will use the standard quick start application from uh, OpenShift because in this video I will only show you how to set up, how to just start this type of application. One thing, when you use later your own repository, you will put here your own repository, but please, and think about it, delete this git reference and git de git delete this content, context directory. Uh, git reference is just the version of your repository and the context directory is the place, is the subdirectory of this repository where you have your application. In most of cases, you have your application as a master uh, of the Git repository, and you don't have any 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 subdirectories with applications. So when you use your own, delete this, keep it just empty. So now you see here <coughs> we have the database name. The database will be created on automatically. I will keep it here root because I would like to use it with the with the with the, the standard example, a quick start example. Later I will change it. I will just choose uh, my own uh, name for it. And now this is really important. This is so called uh, uh, this is a secret name and we will need to create such a secret. Secret is a place where you can store some information which which uh, are important for you for example certificates then here you have the certificate name and the certificate key name so you see okay it looks like you can add your own certificates mm, yes and no <laughs> Yes, you must do it in some way but of course if you have a free account <laughs> You don't. You will be not able to create a real uh, work while working certificate. I will show you how to use a fake certificate. What we need to store are these three 
data. This is the secret name, the certificate name, and the certificate key name. I have it here in my text uh, editor. It will be important just in a second. Then, if you have a certificate with a password, you, you can just use the password and so on and so on. I will no, I will not change anything here. Here you have the username and password. Uh, you can keep it like this, and then you will get the the, the automatically generated uh, generated username and password. Uh, it is a good idea, I think. Later I will show you how to set it, how to use the, the, the default, uh, the, the, the generated uh, values. But one thing, don't try to create username root. There, because there is a, such, such a user and then uh, you will be not able to start your application. So don't put your username root and root. Don't do it. So, and now go forward and keep it as it is. So let's create it and now I will I see here you, you see the information that you need to create this secret without this name and it should contain your servlet, uh, server certificate. Okay, let's go to the application now just to show you that MySQL starts more or less immediately. So you see it looks okay now. We are waiting for <clears throat> our Tomcat, which will take some time, but mm, you will see it will not really start. You see here in logs, it looks everything more or less okay. You download, you build it, everything works well. And this is the first problem when you use this type of application, because you create something, you just use the, the web interface, you click and you think, Okay, uh, everything should at least work. Maybe not perfect, but work. But you will see it doesn't work, in fact. So you see here, MySQL is working. And then we just wait for, <coughs> for, our, uh, for our application. Okay, just when we wait for it, uh, you see here you have two roots. The first one is a normal root, and the second one is a secure root using HTTPS. You know from my previous uh, videos that you can use the standard OpenShift certificate in order to use HTTPS with your application, but this secure root is connected with your own certificates we haven't installed it, so we will be not able at this moment to use this link. But okay, first just concentrate on this pod, it will never start. And this is the first problem with this type of application, it will never start. Okay, let's solve this problem. And we will solve this problem partially, we just start this application. When you go to events, you see, the system is not able to mount oh, this, this, this strand secret, blah, 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 something. Yes, okay, let's copy the name. And now I will show you how to solve this problem partially. So now we go to resources and we choose secrets. Here you see the existing secrets. There are a lot of things which we need. For example, some certificates and so on and so on. And so, on. so create a new secret. Uh, as you remember from the information when we created this application, this secret should contains, contain um, the certificates. So when you go through all these options here in, start, in, in secrets, you will not find it. It doesn't exist. It is able to create it uh, fast from the command line, but I would like to show you how to use the, the, the web uh, interface. So just we will do something tricky we will when you just see this all secrets almost all of them are connected with github or more or less with the github so i will go and choose the webhook which is also connected with github i will put the secret name this one jws minus app minus secret and the key is auto generate i will never use this key this is just a placeholder. <laughs> okay, let's click it and return to our application. I don't know how 
long it will take. So click on the pod, go to events, and then we will just wait a second and we will see the system will recognize that the JWS app secret is created and it will do something with this secret. Uh, it will not do what is expected to do, but it will just start the application. We will be able to use our application. So we need to wait a little bit. If it will take more time, I will just cut this video. So I'm back and you see I haven't redeployed, rebuilt nothing. So it was able now to mount this volume and then to start our pod. So let's go back here. Okay, and our port is working. So now, this is important, we have these two routes here. The normal using HTTP and the secure HTTPS. But as you can expect, the second one will not work. Uh, we will do it uh, later, but okay. Let's see the first one. Click on this, and of course it takes some time. Okay, it it works. So we can add something. One A B C D. Submit. Our application works. So let's go back here. Of course, when I click here on this, it will not work. Don't expect it work. And now, at this moment, you can stop watching this video and you can go to my next video when I present how to install databases, how to work with our own application. But if you are interested in this secure part, let's do it. I will do two things. Okay, first, I will just forget about this one. I will create a new route which will be the secure route, but it will use the certificate from OpenShift, not our certificate, the certificate from OpenShift. So, okay, let's let's go to, um, uh, to applications, to routes, and I will create a new, see, we have this two one, great, new one, I will call this route uh, own, HTTPS. Okay, <clears throat> then I will choose this is the secure route. And now, this is important. The TLS termination is H. You will see when we go to the to the to the the the, the uh, automatically created route, which doesn't work in this mode. Uh, uh, this, this this moment it is not age age means we go directly to the to the server certificate so in secure traffic to I don't know just none it doesn't matter and you see here also you can upload your own certificates in the free account you you are not able and just create this route and now when we go to our application okay you see this root which is here uh, which is here http own https and this root use the standard openshift certificate so let's click on it maybe it will just take a second oh no it works and you see here everything is okay yeah so it, it works with https when you click on this then you see that this is certificate from OpenShift and everything is there okay. So we are able to create secure application and non-secure HTTP, HTTPS. But okay, what we can do with this route? Okay, before we go there, just go inside of this route just to see what is there. Uh, action, just click on edit. The first thing what you have, and this the, the service is here, secure see, and then secure root, and this is passed through. Uh, it means it use our own, uh, our own certificates, not the the the, the OpenShift certificate. But of course, it doesn't work 
uh, if you want to see. I can click on it. Um, <coughs> it can not work because there are no certificates. So, okay, let's I will just not wait. Just believe me, it doesn't work. Uh, <coughs> let's go to our application and what we can do. We will create our certificate, so we need some certificates. Okay, uh, let's see. We would like to have certificate for this for this server. Okay, I will just create a certificate online, and <coughs> I will use this uh, web page self sign certificate com or you can create your own certificates i will just create the certificate for this address and of course if you never do it in this way but just for testing and you see here we have these two certificates i have the key and the certificate these are two important things let me download these two elements this is the first one this is the second one Okay, let's go to my. Oh, these are these two elements. Uh, we will use these two certificates, but how we can do it? Maybe first, okay, we have this certificate and key. Just wait a second. I will show you how to do it. Now, return to our application and go to, 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 to our. Secure secrets elements here. Our oh, secret element. What I will do? It's not possible to do it uh, directly using this web uh, web uh, interface. I will just change the the content of the previous created secret. Okay. So let's click on the secret. So this is our secret. You can click here to see what is inside. We don't need it. We will delete it uh, and <coughs> we'll edit it. It's not possible just to edit. We don't have a form to do it. Just we can edit the configuration file here. Click on this. And this is our file. So we don't need any more this web webhook secret. But what we need, we need the certificates. Uh, so the first value which we will add here is our server CRT. And, um, <coughs> enter. And then, uh, sorry, I forgot to put semicolon uh, colon here. Uh, now <coughs> we will we will add here the value of the uh, server certificate. So let's go to the certificates which we created. Uh, where are the certificates? Sorry, where I added it? Uh, just go to folder, and it was in downloads. This is our certificate here. So let's first open it, but open with, and I will open it with a text file. So I will choose other, open and uh, your text editor. So this is it, and open it. This is our certificate. So what you can think, you can think, okay, let's take it and put it. Uh, to our configuration file of our secret. No, it doesn't work. We need to encode it using base64. So let's go to the page base64 decode, click on encode, and then we will just encode it. Okay, let's click here, control A, just take every, I'll just take from this. Okay, control C paste it here, oops, sorry, paste it here, uh, and then click on encode, so this is the encoded version, control A, control C, 
and we go back to our open sheet. So here I will paste this one and enter. And then go back here and then we start with the with the key. So the first next value of the certificates is server key. And we will do exactly the same. Minus enter. Don't forget to use tab here. And now let's open the okay, let's go to open the key here and open with uh, no, 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 other, one more time, the text editor, where is it, this is our text editor, and this is it, and we will also decode it, let's go here, just to be sure, I will first delete everything, okay, return to our file, copy here everything, and then go to this page, paste, and encode. Control A, Control C, and paste it here. And this is it. Oops, okay, just. And this is it. This is our secret, and then we can save it. <coughs> now you see these two values. Let's see if, if everything was okay. When you click here, ah, you see this is what we had. This is our certificates here. That's exactly our certificates. This is what we wanted. So let's go to overview. Ah, I don't know if, if, if uh, the system will recognize it. Mm, no. It doesn't look like this, so let's do something else. I'll just scale it down because I would like to have not too much faults. I have only two. So I scale down my application before I redeploy it. So wait a second. And now let's click here on the application, redeploy it. Okay, with the new new data. And if it's ready, then just scale it up. What is important when I start my application, new application, my SQL is working. Okay, just wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. And just first try the, 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 the standard HTTPS, HTTP route. Okay, the way I will just refresh several times. Okay, and you see it works with the old data which we had. Okay, it works. Now let's try with a secure, automatically created route. And you see, this is what what we should get. There's a problem with certificate. Why? <laughs> because our certificate was a little bit fake and just formally was okay. But you see, okay, there is some problems. And what is important here, we really use our own certificate now. So what I will do, I'll just click continue anyway. And you see, we can use our application. Yes. Of course, here are problems with the, with, the, with the connection because the certificate is not okay and so on. But you see, it works. So this is the way how we set up our application to work with this bundle Tomcat, JBoss Tomcat, HTTPS and MySQL. Think about it. Keep 
only two pods working. When you redeploy your application after changes, yes, you need two pods, but you have one pod which is MySQL. It doesn't work. But the problem is when you start your application, because this application is connected with MySQL, MySQL must work at this moment. Therefore, before you redeploy, scale down your Tomcat, redeploy, you can do it without problems. Uh, all the time you have your MySQL working, and then sky scale up uh, your application, and then it will work. So this is all for this part. I will create a next video where I show you how to use uh, this system in a standard way, in the same way as I presented with white fly or the previous Tomcat, but there are some changes I will explain. So see you in a second.